All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Kevin again with Yerkut Racing. Uh, we got the crank and everything installed in the last video. Um, so this one we're going to take and start making sure our rings fit where we want them. Um, we'll get those gapped. I think I'm going to set everything to 30 and 32. That'll give us plenty of room for boost or nitrous or whatever we want to do. Um, we're going to start by flipping the block over. We're going to take our rings and set them in the hole. We're going to take our feeler gauges and measure the gap on them now. And we'll end up uh, grinding them down some to get the gaps where we want them. So anyway, we're going to jump right in it, guys. Um, if you haven't already done so, take a second to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And also, if you enjoy the video, give us a like down below. That'll help us out, too. All right, we're going to jump right in, guys. Start by putting a little oil down in the cylinder, lube everything up. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you real quick how they come in the box from Hastings. Um, you got your, it, it marks them out on the packet. So you got the top ring, second ring, and then your third ring combo. So we're going to start with the top ring and get those into spec, and then we'll move on. Actually, I think I'm going to start with the second ring. All right, so we're going to start with one of the second ring. I'm just going to Put that in the hole like so. We're gonna take one of the pistons and I'm gonna put. All right, so we got, we ended up with 21 thousandths is what's on it to start with here on this number one hole. So we're gonna pull the ring out. Uh, just gonna rotate it up out of the hole. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna be using this tool here um, to actually grind it. We'll get that all set up and we'll start the process there. All right, so it's important to note on these grinders that you don't want to have the thing at a, uh, the ring at an angle like that. You want to cut a bevel onto it or your readings won't be right. So you want to make sure it's squared up and kind of flush to the wheel and then just rest it up, uh, against the stops. So we're just going to start cutting it. All right, we'll start with that. Use our piston again to square it up so we know we got that good. Come back in with our feeler gauges. Doesn't look like we really took much off here. Just trying to get a feel for it, um, for how, how fast this thing is going to cut. So yeah, it's going to take quite a bit more than that. I really barely moved it at all there for what we just did. So I'm going to kind of just keep repeating the process over and over again until I get it done. I'll probably just put you guys on the time lapse and let it roll. All right, guys. So I want to show you. We got the one ring, the, the uh, second ring for the number one hole. Got that file fit and in there, but I just noticed when I went to check the groove for the top ring on this piston, this is the one we had to damage on, on number one. Um, and just kind of first glance, it looks good. But there, if you can see, right here where I have the uh, head of the bolt was kind of sitting right there on top of the piston just underneath that there's a tight spot in the, in the uh, ring groove so I started looking at it and unfortunately hopefully y'all can see it hopefully it's focusing but there is a tiny crack right in front of my finger um, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to run this piston now I've got to go and try to make a decision on what's the best thing to do now that I got to buy a set of pistons. I know I'm going to get forged ones if, I'm, if that's the way I'm going to go. Unless I can find somebody's got one locally, a LT1 stock piston to put back in it. I'm thinking the way to go is probably going to be a forged rotating assembly. Um, I might stay with the stock crank, but I mean at that point, might as well go bigger, I guess. So. Anyway, that kind of sucks. This is a setback I wasn't planning on, but that's part of it. Like I said, uh, it's pretty disappointing. <laughs> we're sitting here, we're in the short rows, the final assembly of the block. We got the crank in, you know, it's installed about as perfect as you could get one. And basically just needed to go through, put the rods and pistons in it, get the ring gap set, slap the heads on it, and we were ready to put it back in the car. So 
like I said, kind of disappointed. Really disappointed right now at the moment, but it's okay. It'll just make it better in the long run. I was kind of trying to set up everything to do a boost anyway, so if that's what we end up having to do, at least we'll know it, that the motor will take it. Um, I'm going to regroup once I figure out what we're going to do about this piston, and I'll get back with you. I'll bring you guys back and let you know what I figured out. But Anyway, hey, we found a problem. But I appreciate you guys following along with me on this build as we go. I wish I had caught this earlier because I could have done a lot a lot of different stuff than I did. Um, we'd be a lot further along with that process. So anyway, I appreciate you following along, guys. If you like the video, give us a like down below. That would help us out a lot. And uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see where we go with this thing. All right, so went inside, took a break for a minute, got my thoughts together. Um, ended up putting a call in down to um, AutoZone and Seal Power makes a piston that they can get by Tuesday. Um, it's Friday now, so the wait isn't too long. Um, it's the factory style piston, got the same ring grooves that we need and everything. Um, so I think I'm going to give that a shot as long as the wait is the same on the piston when it comes in is the one thing they didn't have the specs on as long as the weight turns out to be the same then I think we're gonna be okay um, and we won't have to have anything rebalanced so I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with getting the rest of these rings fit into holes um, that way when we get them we should be able to have everything assembled but that one hole and we'll be good to go and should be good so anyway just want to give you guys an uh, update. That's where we're at. We're going to jump back into this thing. Let's get it. Alright guys, so as you can see from the video, we got all of the piston rings uh, filed to fit where we want them. I got 30 thousandths on the top. 
uh, 32 on the second and then made sure all the oil rings had 15. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with where we're at now. Um, I had to order the other piston that should be here Tuesday. Uh, it was kind of a setback today so I'm going to have to push pause on this for a little bit. I am going to try to jump back out here um, probably tomorrow or Sunday. See if I can get all the rods and pistons put in the motor except for that one. And then we'll just be waiting on that and it'll be a quick throw the rings on it, oil it down. Um, I do have to check the weight on it to make sure it matches the rest of these. So I guess I'll have to leave one out. Um, but anyway, we're going to do that. And then, like I said, hopefully the thing will be back together pretty soon. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you following along. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss any future updates. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. And I uh, will catch you on the next one. Thanks.